comic strips in the 1930s were a major part of American media. Movies were big and the radio was popular, but comic strips were a way for people to make a friendship and check in on this friend every day when they got the newspaper. Terry and the Pirates was a comic strip for grown-ups, and romance was a big part of it. Dude Hennick within the strip, he kind of had a on-again, off-again love affair with a woman named Raven. Milton Knuth introduced a rather plain-looking character called Raven Sherman, who was a wealthy socialite who had come to China to rescue orphans. And she's the one that caught Dude's eye. So we have the, the masterful writer of Kniff not having him fall for one of the bombshells, but having him fall for the character whose life and good works make her very appealing. When Milton Kniff killed off Raven in the strip, people would drop stuff on his porch. They would throw flowers at his house because that was so much a part of people's lives. They identified her as a real character. People called him a murderer. He got letters saying, oh, bring her back. It's a comic strip. She doesn't have to really be dead. Some are like this sympathy card uh, with sympathy. Your loss is shared by others too who deeply sympathize with you for the loss of Raven Sherman. And then there's the opposite reaction to the editor. I don't see how the cartoonist could have the heart to do away with the most fascinating creature I've ever read about, Raven Sherman. If Dick Tracy or Superman isn't hired to bring her back from the dead, I will never buy the Daily News again. Never do you hear me. The strip actually of Raven dying is really a fascinating, fascinating strip in and of itself. You know, that was the only time you saw this really male figure of Dude Hennick actually cry within the Terry and the Pirate strip. It was quite a story at the time, but it worked because he told it with such genuine care. And it was very clear from the emotional response that Dude had really loved her. And of course, that's what the fans were responding to.